Hello everyone, it's Tails from Studio Wildfear here. Thought I'd take a moment and show you the new uh, modification of the War Machines token pack, where I've set up the tokens for uh, Foundry VTT. Now, what you want to do is once you've uh, once you've downloaded the pack, go and put it into your Foundry um, data folder. Uh, I put it in a, a folder called uh, uh, Tokens because I've got a whole heap of different token packs. Uh, now, what you want to do is when you're setting up the because there are there are human-sized robot tokens and there are large mecha and vehicle tokens, so you want to treat them a little bit differently um, between them. Now, the human-sized tokens are pretty easy. Um, you start off by you know, create an actor. Let's call him Robot. Now, uh, he could be a player character or a non-player character, doesn't really matter. I'll make him a non-player character in this case, and I'll put him in my... Now, I've made two folders for my tokens, so I'm going to pop him in my human size tokens. Create him. Now, when you go to your proto prototype token, head over to Appearance. You want to go... First, you want to go to the image path, go hunting for where you've put your tokens so for example I'm in my, my my user data folder I've got a folder called uh, token artwork then I've got a folder called war machines because it's the war machine pack now and then within that pack there's a folder called human size tokens that's where, where all the human size tokens are and let's just go with the the and the Android the factory Android so we'll grab Grab that one. Now, he's going to be dimensions. You want to set that to be width of one and height of one. So he's going to be one, you know, one character square, one five foot square in size. Then scale, you want to set this to two. This way the, the, um, the token is sized correctly. Because uh, a number of the tokens that I create they have like dynamic poses or you know, bits sticking outside of the character square, which means the token is um, uh, a little bit actually a little bit larger than a character square. So you want to be able to have that overhang. So I've, that's why I've sized everything up. Then click update token. I'm just going to double check because sometimes it doesn't save. Yep. Cool. So close that. This is our robot, and there he is. And he's he's correctly sized. He's standing, and he's standing in the middle of the um, the square. If you rotate him, oops, that's zooming in and out. If you rotate him, he rotates around. Now, one thing you can do, uh, which is really cool, is if because if you want to create like a whole army of robots, overly obviously, if you just click and drag, they're all going to be the same, which is rather same same boring. What we want to do is we want to use the wildcard system. So go back into the robot character, back to the prototype, back to appearance. Now you'll see underneath the image path, it has a piece called randomize wildcard images. Tick that. Then what you want to do is come back up to the file name, file name path, go to the very end, and where it's got this four digit number, at the end here, remove that and replace it with a star. There we go. And then click update token. So that way, because each each token is is the same file name dash a, no, a four digit number. So it'd be 0000, then 0001, 0002, and so on and so forth. So by putting a star instead of those four four numbers will mean that the the program will randomly grab out a token and put it out down for each one that you put down. So this way you can quickly chuck down an army of robots. Now uh, one with all the different poses that I've got for the robots as well, one that really good thing that you can do is Let's just say you, you, you know, this guy just standing here. You want to have him with, you know, 
change him during the game. Give him you know, have a look at have a look to see you know, are there ones that have weapons or anything like that? Or maybe a different pose. Or maybe he's been knocked down. Update the token. There he is not there he is, but he's been knocked over. Or maybe he's just been he's been destroyed. So appearance. Back in. Find a different find a different token. There he is, he's been broken. He's on fire. And that's how that's how the, the human sized tokens work. So there's a couple of different human sized tokens. So there's the Android factory model. Uh, now there's an Android with a spear. He's in the he's in the Android factory model. Now, because the spear is quite long, when you go and set him up, go up to click on him, prototype, he's actually got a scale of three because that that spear is quite big. So if you actually if you look in the in the folder where he's kept, if I just go to the names, you'll see that most of them are called Android dash factory dash number. But there'll be a bunch at the bottom called Spear Guard Android Factory. Now this is where I've, I've been using a special naming for anything that needs needs anything uh, uh, like a special sizing. So this guy, he's a one by one character square, but he is scale three. So at the end of the file name I've put on 1v1, that means that he's a, a one by one character square token, and he needs a scale ratio of three to come up to come up right. And just just like the other ones, you can take out the four-digit number and put in a put in the the, um, the star, and that'll that'll create the um, randomization as well. So that one's got the star in it. So each time I draw him out, he'll have a different pose. And it's just because this guy had a had a spear that he required a bit of different uh, scaling otherwise the rest of the the rest of the tokens in his his character set are just 1v1 by 2 same as most of the other the other ones so for example this is the antithica systems robot or we've got the invader droid loader robot whoops And we've even got a sentry gun, which is like a—it's just basically like a gun on a tripod. It's a little bit simpler, but it's just a couple of different tokens with the gun facing in a different direction. So that's the the human-sized token. Now the the fun bit is when we get to the mecha, uh, the large tanks and battle mecha, because they're quite large. So. I'll zoom in, a, zoom out a bit on my map so you can see that it's. You know, I've got a, a large area with a, with character squares here, and I've already set these up just so I can basically do demo how they look. So this is the assault bot. So he's destroyed. He's standing up, and I'll, I'll zoom in so you can see the detail. Different camo pattern he's destroyed as well. Jungle cam pattern camo. So he's this guy is a three by three um, square model. Um, so if you have a look in again with the file naming, so I'll go to this one. You'll see in the appearance. If we look at look at the name, so it's assault bot. This, this particular one is Assault Bot Dash Desert um, Triple O. Um, whoops, if I go, it's the folder name. Sorry. So this is Assault Bot Dash Desert three by three. So it's three character squares in size. Dash two, which means scaling of two. Um, 
because you'll notice that some of them, for example, if we look at the drone battle tank, it's 4x4 scale of 2. We'll have a look at that guy just now. So I'll get rid of these guys. And there's, there's a really big one as well, but I'll get to him in a minute. So, so the drone battle, battle tank, let's use the desert one. So as you can see, he's a 4x4. A four four. If I just draw, drag out another couple of him. Now, with the tanks, I've got a couple of st static ones where, like this is just a static graphic. But I've gone and made some where the hull and the turret are separate. And what you do with those... So you set up the, the hull pretty much the same. So it'd be 4x4 four four, scaling of 2. Now you'll see that it it's sitting a little bit off center on the character square here. That's because I've made these so people can use them in uh, Foundry without any special mods or anything like that. So the tank will will pivot on its turret. I mean, sorry, on its turret ring, which means if you go and put the turret over the top, it means that the turret will will pivot in place and look like it belongs. And if you select them both, they all ro they rotate correctly as well. Um, you could probably use token attach or something like that and move the whole lot into the into the center so that and then you know have the turret rotate a little bit off center to the whole thing but this does the job um, without the need of extra mods. Uh, the only thing you've got to do is when you create so you should create the the hull as a 4x4 but when you create the the turret create it as a 4x2 now the reason why I do that is that that creates the the center center pivot point where we want it it also means that you can select the hull and and not select the turret or select the turret and not select the hull because they were both 4x4 you wouldn't be able to select the hull because the hull's underneath the turret um, but when you go to move them if you're moving them you know if you want to move if you want to rotate the turret select the whole lot then rotate because the turret would rotate with the hull anyway um, but if you just want to rotate the, tu the turret individually just select the turret and pivot away and that's um, that's pretty much how how the war machines work. We've got, um, you know, we've got a giant spider mecha. And once again, oh, like I, I preset these tokens up for a, a game that I'm playing. Um, if I just drag him out. Yep. So there's a couple of different versions of him. And then we've got a large, very large battle mech. And I'll just zoom out so you can get the idea. Like, and here's here's the here's the assault bot. Whoop, he's always seem to get the damage one up first. So you can see that there's a couple of different um, uh, uh, mecha with different sizes. Now if I get out the battle tank again, oh no, that's the that's the um, winter camo of the battle mech. the battle tank. So as you can see there's a, there's a couple of different um, large size things. Um, should provide you many hours of enjoyable gaming. And if you've got any questions shoot me a, uh, a, a, a comment in the section in the section below. Uh, like, subscribe if you're interested in seeing more tokens um, from Studio Welfare. Thank you very much.